So first of all, I'm going to take you through the Sony Ericsson that I know. This handset is the first remote play enabled handset here in the UK. Now remote play means you can stream your content from the PlayStation 3 through Wi-Fi so you can watch it. Don't let that scare you though, PlayStation 3 isn't just a games console, it is actually a media hub. It's got a hard drive on board so you can store your movies, your videos and your digital photographs. You can even watch TV with the BBC iPlayer. As well as that, they've just launched a video download service so you can download or rent movies from the PlayStation Store itself. So the iNote itself is an 8.1 megapixel camera. You have this brilliant touch media interface installed on the handset as well. So it's a great little phone. Let me show you how this all works. So to get Remote Play started, you need to register the iNo with the PlayStation 3. You only have to do this once. After that, you can play with it as much as you like. So to start with, on the Sony Ericsson iNo, you just need to go into the menu and go to the top here to the little file called Entertainment. This is where you'll find the Remote Play application. Just down here, and if we go into this application by clicking this middle select button, it'll then say start. Now usually this is how we do to start the connection. But as we've not set this up yet, it will ask us to set it up first. So if we click here, it'll ask us for a registration code from the PlayStation. Now you get this code from the settings menu inside the PlayStation. So if we just go to the PlayStation, we scroll along on this cross media bar till we get to settings. And then if we scroll down, we'll find remote play settings. We just click in here. Now, if you're already a PlayStation 3 owner, you do have to update the software and get the latest version of software. Because as soon as you click on register device, you'll find two options, PSP and mobile phone. We just scroll down to mobile phone, and now it will give us the registration code that we need for the iNo. So if we go back to the iNo, and we put in this registration code. It's an eight-digit code, it's nice and simple. So once we click OK, the iNo will automatically turn on Wi-Fi and it will automatically search for the PlayStation. When doing this, neither of the units have to be connected to your home Wi-Fi. This is just to set it up. The two will talk to each other to get this connection started in the first place. So it's a nice, easy connection. Once it's connected, it will say on the PlayStation, device registration complete and the same with the phone. So now the devices are registered, okay, we can start the remote play connection. On the PlayStation itself, as we're doing a local connection, we just need to exit the uh, settings menu, go along to remote play, which is under the network part of the media bar browser. And if we just enter that, that sets the PlayStation ready for doing the remote play connection. So now, if we click start on the iNo, it will give us two options. We have via Wi-Fi or 3G. Click via Wi-Fi. Remote Play can work through 3G, but unless you have the right data subscription with your provider, it can be very expensive, and also it may not work. So make sure you do via Wi-Fi. So once the Remote Play connection works, you'll find on your TV it now says Remote Play in Progress. And now the menu that you saw on the TV is now on the iNo handset. Now using the keys on the device, you'll be able to flick through the menu of this. So now if we're flicking through, it'll take us to videos, and then the video will play on our handset. And of course, once you've started watching a video, you can then close it and watch it in full screen and enjoy. Now the benefits of remote play is no matter where we are, as long as we can have a Wi-Fi connection, we can stream the content from this PlayStation to our mobile phone even if you are in a different country. So if you're on holiday, in a hotel, you can even go onto the PlayStation Store and download some videos to watch while you're on this connection. And listen to music, and of course look at your photographs. So potentially, instead of having an 8 gig memory card in your phone, you have access to 120 gig of memory, which is on your PlayStation hard drive. So that's Remote Play on the iNo. As well as that on the iNo, because it is a camera device with the 8.1 megapixel camera, you do actually have also a Facebook application which sits on this mobile phone. So what you can do is actually directly upload your photographs to Facebook. Having Bluetooth on here, you can also send photographs via Bluetooth. 